UAF Cooperative Extension Service. Extending knowledge, changing lives. Do you know if your livestock are in good condition? Or how do you know if your nutrition program is doing what you had hoped? Hello, I'm Dr. Lisa Lund, Extension Veterinarian for University of Alaska Fairbanks, and I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about body condition scoring of livestock. Body condition score, oftentimes abbreviated BCS, is a way for us to estimate the fat reserves on an animal. Animals use these fat reserves during times of peak energy usage, such as peak milk production, late pregnancy, extreme winter conditions, and breeding season. Thin animals that don't have enough body condition have trouble becoming pregnant. Sheep won't have twins as often as they normally would. Overconditioned animals may have problems giving birth because the birth canal may become infiltrated with fat or they may have fatty liver disease and have metabolic problems. Body condition scoring is an active process where we actually have to palpate the animal. This is important because it's inaccurate if you sometimes just look out in the pasture, you may not be able to tell the actual fat coverage of the animals. For animals that have a heavy winter coat or for sheep or llamas and alpacas that have wool or fiber, they may appear larger and fatter than what you would anticipate if you actually palpated the animal. Also, it's difficult to compare different framed animals. If you have a calf or an adult cow, the frame size differences may make them appear fatter or skinnier. And so it's important that we actually get our hands on there and palpate the landmarks so that we know exactly how much fat coverage they have. Most livestock are body condition scored on a scale of one to five, but beef cattle, camelids, and some other subspecies are done on a one to nine scale. The scale itself isn't all that important. What you need to know is that a body condition score of one is an emaciated, extremely thin animal. A body condition score of five or nine, if you're using a one to nine score, is obese, and that animal is way too over conditioned. Realistically, we want most of our livestock to be between a three, perhaps a four at the most. That's gonna give them the optimum health. So within a herd, most of your animals are gonna fall between a two and a four, and that's gonna be okay. We wanna, we wanna avoid the extremes of ones and fives. To body condition score your livestock, it's best to have them restrained so that you can have the safety of being able to palpate them. For cattle, we often use a chute. If you're doing sheep or goats, you may have somebody hold the animal for you or put it in a milking stand so that it'll be easy to hold it still. To palpate, there's five specific areas that we wanna look at. One is the top line or the back. You're gonna run your hand along there, feel for the bone, and try to estimate how much coverage is over that. We also feel along the rib cage, on the ribs, over the hip bone, over the pin bones, and over the tail head, specifically looking at how much space is between the tail and the pin bones. So when you're feeling this, you wanna push in, feel for the bone, and try to estimate how much coverage is above there. So for an animal that's a body condition score of one, you're gonna feel a lot of bone and just skin on top of it. For an animal that has a body condition of five, when you push in, it's difficult to feel the bones. Now, if this worries you and you're not sure that you know how to estimate that, you're gonna have a handy trick to take with you, and it's your hand. So make a fist, you're gonna take your fingers and run it over your knuckles. That's what a body condition score of one feels like, bone with not a lot of flesh over it. If you turn your hand slightly and go over the back of your hand, that's gonna be a body condition score of three. You can feel the bone if you press down, but there's enough flesh covering it that the bone is not obvious. And then if you flip your hand over, the fleshy part underneath your thumb, that's a body condition score of five. You can't really feel the bone. It's very fleshy, very squishy, and that's very similar to what a body condition score of five would be. Ideally, you should body condition score your herd several times a year. Now, in the beginning stages, if you're unsure of what you're doing, just take time to palpate the animal. It's not important for you to be exact and know the difference between a three and a three and a half, but it is important for you to understand a body condition score of two versus a body condition score of four. Once you've done that and you've gotten numbers for your animals, take those numbers and put them into the herd health book that you've established for your animals. And when you re-body condition score them again, refer back to those previous numbers to see if there's been a change. Going from a body condition score of four to a two, losing body weight, 
that may indicate that there's an, an issue with parasites on the farm, or perhaps the, the nutrition in the diet isn't energy dense, and so you may need to contact your veterinarian to help investigate those issues. Conversely, going from a two to a body condition score of four or five may indicate that you're overfeeding those animals and we may need to adjust the diet again. As you become more experienced, you should be able to body condition score several animals within a minute. So this is not a very time consuming process. Whether you're a full-time farmer or a backyard enthusiast, it's important that you know and understand body condition scoring of livestock so that you can have a better idea of if your animals are healthy and if they're in a good plane of nutrition. For more information on body condition scoring and other animal related issues, please visit the University of Alaska Fairbanks Cooperative Extension Service website.